welcome to my channel for today's video we are going to be doing a terrarium for the first time ever if you know me you know that i have a ton of plants in my house they're mainly my mom's i mean we literally have over 40 plants in our house for my mom's birthday last year i actually got her a terrarium it's super cute i'll be putting a photo up so you can see what it looks like and then recently a couple of weeks ago for mother's day she made her own terrarium for her mother my grandmother and it came out so cute and ever since i saw her do the process at home i kind of thought to myself like i really want to make one myself a while back i went to ikea and i saw these really really cute cactuses they're sell that they were selling i'm not sure if all the ikeas are selling them but they're really cute when i saw these i was just like i have to make a terrarium like these are the ones i'm gonna use if i'm gonna make one it's gonna be with these so let's get started make sure you have a plastic bag or some kind of tarp to completely cover the area that you'll be working on Apart from that, you'll need rocks. I have rocks that are um, like a brownish kind of texture, which I'll be using on the bottom. You're also gonna need one of these these I basically they're like kind of a screen kind of texture and they're gonna basically be used as a divider between the bottom rocks and the sand Moving along, you're also going to need some sand. I think any sand will do. This sand is for interior house plants. So I think this one is ideal. Just make sure it says for interior house plants since the terrariums are gonna be indoors.
this one. It is a cactus succulent palm and tris mix. It's organic. I got it at my local plant shop. The other one that my mom used was from Amazon and I just honestly couldn't really wait on Amazon plus try not to buy that much stuff on Amazon so I thought it would be better to support my local plant shop. It's easier a couple blocks away from me. So if you made it to this part of the video, I've officially finished the layering part. Oh my god, this is so heavy. But as you can see, it has the rocks, the sand, and the dirt. And this is no joke, so heavy. <laughs> I feel like I could do some arm, whatever they're called, like arm pull-ups, whatever. Because as you can see, it really took me some time to build the shape. Like I've mentioned before, my mom is obsessed with plants. Like We've always had plants in our house since I was little. And they've mainly been my grandma's. But over the pandemic, she had to take care of the plants because it was really hectic. And so that's when her love for plants kind of grew. So ever since then, the amount of plants in our house have like skyrocketed like we have so many and so she bought herself the gardening bag it's absolutely the cutest thing ever let's see she got it on amazon and it has really cute stuff these are some gloves i'm gonna try and take them out and put them on These are the gloves that my mom uses for gardening. And look, right there. Do you see that right there? Okay, so I have officially planted the cactus that I wanted and also it was a lot of work. Like this was an insane amount of work. I mean for the most part they were pretty easy to, to plant. It was just this specific one, the bunny ears cactus because it kept slopping to the side. I guess I was being a little too rough with it. And I yanked a little piece off of it like I didn't yank I didn't pull it off it just kind of 
fell off which i'm so sad about because it's so cute it's literally like has a little ball spot like where the needles should be it's like kind of funny but not funny you know what i mean so luckily this part is over and i can add the rocks so here are my rocks So, as you can see, I have officially decorated the entire top of it with the white pebbles and honestly, it looks marvelous. Like, I am so obsessed with it. Definitely worth the stress. <laughs> I mean, just like, look at them. They're so cute. Oh, can't believe I made it, you know? So even though it looks done, I still want to add a couple of things to really kind of spice it up. So what I have here is a vase full of rocks. Um, my dad really, really, really loves to get rocks at the beach. It's like so aesthetically pleasing too. It has its own little corner in the house. And so my mom stole some of the rocks in the vase to decorate her own terrarium with. And I wanted to do the same thing, add a little bit of decoration to it. And there you have it guys, my first terrarium. Honestly, when I was doing it, I was like, yeah, it's gonna be no big deal. I'm just gonna boom, 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 add everything that needs to be added and it's gonna look magnificent. But honestly, it was kind of a little bit harder than I expected it to be. But I really, really, really love the outcome. I really think that the cute little rocks kind of add something to it. it definitely has a lot of things going on but it doesn't look overcrowded or too busy at least from my point of view um comment down below if you think i should have chosen another color besides yellow i absolutely love it or comment down below what cactuses you would have chosen it was so much fun and if you're interested in more videos of me making terrariums please comment down below or like this video and subscribe i will definitely be down to do more thank you so much for watching this video if you're interested in more of my videos please please like this video comment or subscribe click the little bell for any notifications for when i will be uploading again i will try to be consistent of course but thank you so much for watching this video i had tons of fun and i hope to see you guys soon okay bye Thank you.